helpline. Wrong number. Unless it wasn't. Howard. Hi, Mary. How are you? Oh, fine. Fine. <laughs> Why haven't I seen you for the last couple of days? Well, uh, if you really want to know the truth, I feel uh, a little strange, kind of uh, self-conscious. You do? Why? Well, you know. <laughs> I thought it was terrible what that salesman said. I mean, I didn't believe that like that. I mean, it's not that I didn't believe it. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I believed it. I didn't believe. I just didn't believe that he would do that. That he would say that. I mean, I believe that anything is possible between two adulting consents. But you know, I just felt that I. I, I think I know what you mean, man. I really like you, Howard. You're my friend. And I just think that, you know, it doesn't matter to me if you're... Well, I mean, I've done things that... This isn't coming out right, is it? No, no. no. I understand what you're trying to say, Mary. And look, I really... What? Your acceptance of what I am, the way I am, well, it's a big relief to me. I really do accept you, Howard. Yeah, well, you see, not everybody's as broad-minded as you are. I, uh, I suppose it shouldn't bother me. <clears throat> but it does, and... No, oh, I just wish I could come out in the open about it, like, like Ed wants me to, but... I can't, and... I really hate myself for that. No. You know what you need? A nice cup of coffee. That's what you need. Okay. A nice cup of coffee. I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee. You're gonna have a nice cup of coffee. Okay? And then we'll just sit down and we'll talk about it. Oh my! It's five. I have to turn on the television and watch the news. Why? Why? What happened? Um, Kathy is the, uh, weather person. She's become the new weather person. So I just want to watch her and see how she's doing. Oh, no. I think we missed it. I waited the whole day for this. <clears throat> Mary, could... Can we get back to what we were talking about? Oh, sure. Uh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute now, let me see. I remember, I remember, I know, you said that you hated yourself. Do well, you hate yourself, really? Well, no, 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 not, not, not for what I am, but because I can't admit it. You see, I, uh, I've been in the closet for years. In the closet? Yeah. What do you do in the closet? Oh, I'm sorry, is that just a technical term? <laughs> yeah, you see, it's... Well, it's, 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 it's when you're gay and you, you can't admit it. Not that it does much good because, well, everybody figures out what you are anyway. And all it means is that you're denying it by making believe you're somebody you're not. It's really worse. Oh, Howard, I'm really sorry you're having such a rough time. Now well, it's really harder on Ed. Oh, listen. Ed has been terrific about this. I mean, Ed was over here, and he explained the whole thing. And I don't know. I felt glad that he explained it to me. I really did. You know, he's, see, that's the point. I should have told you myself instead of letting Ed do it. Howard, it didn't matter. He seemed to like doing it. He came over here, he told me, he explained everything to me. It was fine. No problem at all. You know what to do. You're so upset. Finish your coffee, then we'll have another cup of coffee, and then you can go back to your closet. I mean, your house. <laughs>